So guys, what is going on? Me and Eagle Eyes, we are way, way, way out there. This is a very special explorer that we've been looking so much forward to. This is the most secret. This is the most hidden away position that the Germans had in this region. And what did I have here? Well, they had something absolutely spectacular and you're gonna see that later. This is almost as far out as we have ever been. This place is so remote, they're doing a lot of logging, but nevertheless, why are we interested in this forest? Well, I think we just have to show you why. Eli was doing some research by himself the other day and he came across a couple of images, didn't you? Yeah. And he said to me, Daddy, what are these? And I said, I really, really can't tell you. But we did some research together and then we found out that this is a Hans Turm or Hans Tower. And what is it? Direction finder. It's a direction finder. Looks very, very interesting. But not only that, you came across this very strange thing. And what is that? Heinrich Tower. It's a Heinrich Tower that is also a direction finder. And guess what? These used to be in here. And that is why we set ourselves upon to see if we can find any traces of that. And there's supposed to be some foundations in there for that. But not only that, there used to be a massive secret German camp in here. And we're hoping that we might be able to find and share some of that with you here today. So that is why we're way, way out here in this forest. This is gonna be a mission impossible. Is it possible to find the foundation of something like this? But the story behind this is very exciting. This is one of the most secretive locations that the Germans had in this region. And we just basically hope that we can actually prove that the Germans were here. Did they have these antennas and direction finders here? Is it possible for us to see if there are some foundations still in the forest? I don't know, but we will do our very, very best. There's actually a dip in the ground there that looks a bit strange. That is really strange. We are most likely looking for four huge squares of either concrete or dugouts. But that's not all. Later, you're gonna see that there is more here. But first, this is basically just the smallest little trip here into the forest to see if there are any foundations of the Heinrich or the Hans. But which one was here? Well, you might not have guessed that, but it was a Hans. The Hans foundation was here. So one of these were here and there were several of them. But for us, we just need to find one of them. And then that's the proof we're looking for. But I think it could be so overgrown that we won't find anything. But wow, look at that image. That is so fascinating. This type of equipment was highly sophisticated for the times. This equipment could spot and locate vessels far, far away. They sent out and returned signals, radio signals, and in that way, they could find out where exactly is the enemy. And that was the full purpose. And to hide them in here had also a very special meaning. That was to protect them so nobody could find them. So when you see them, they would be, there would not be that much forest around, but they will be very highly kind of camouflaged in here. I can see a mound here. That's basically all I can see here. Why is there a mound in the middle of this forest? Well, I haven't got a clue, to be honest. But the leftover could be way, way down into the forest floor because it's been growing, growing, growing for all that time. But we could be lucky that suddenly there could be a huge concrete foundation just boom, waiting for us to find it. We have some reports from the Allies showing a little bit about that this is the area where that first one was. Um, this research material that we kind of got hold of by elderly gentlemen. I have to say, 
This looks very, very, very difficult to be honest. But there are some cutouts in the ground. There are something that do look like there could have been. But of course, without that pedestal or that foundation in concrete or whatever would be here, we cannot be sure about that. But we have others that we're gonna look for. And who knows if we can find them. But right here, I have to be honest, I cannot see any of the fixtures. Ha. Okay, I'm gonna join Eagle Eyes further down here. Come on, Hans. Help us out here. I'm guessing the Hans foundations were much smaller than the Heinrich towers. You see that? So, saying that, I have seen four kind of squares, uh, like holes, very square holes further over there. And it seems like they could be in a pattern. I uh, haven't measured the distance between them. I'll do that. But I do think that that is the only place where they could have been. And they actually took the concrete away. Of course, I cannot promise you that that is the truth, but it's the clearest or nearest indication we have so far. But we're not giving up, to be honest. For you guys, it's just green, green, green. I know. <laughs> okay, let's see. let's see. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Eagle Eye said, Daddy? Oh, look there. Look be Yeah, that's what he said. Boom! You gotta be kidding me. Eagle Eyes. Yes. See that? See that hole there? Oh my goodness. Let's check out this one. And the centerpiece. Oh, yes. Yes. Right there, guys. And there. And there, and there. Wow, Eagle Eyes, let's clear up this so they can see it. Wow, a dream of a young boy doing research, finding this image. And let me prove to you that this is exactly what happened here. First, I'm gonna have a little stick here. See this center pole here? That was attached right there. We scraped off the concrete, you can see that, it is right there. So that held the center pole. And then, see these coming down at an angle? Support poles. Support poles, there's the angle. And we have, how many do we have of these? Four round? Four. And just see here the mayhem of the forest workers. And in the middle of that mayhem, the history is absolutely freaking right there. And that is one of the supports that holds that. Then, a little bit under here, you can definitely see the second one with that hole where the other pole went. And then, how many are, have we realized? Four? Yeah. There's one right there. And this is the very last one, which is fully, fully, and this is what I feared, that they would be completely sunken, sunken into the ground. But believe me, guys, right there is the proof. Holy Madonna, who would have guessed that in here, how it looks today, I haven't got a clue of what it looks like during those days, but just imagine how difficult it is for us to go out and find and share this with you. So we did find, yeah, there's another something there, but we did, Eagle Eyes, bring the picture, bring the picture over here. So you can see, we did find the Hans Turmer direction finder sockle, meaning, that the crew were operating that thing right there. But believe me, now we have another mission. We are gonna see if we can find the Heinrich Tower Direction Finder Foundations. This is starting to get very interesting, but to do that, 
we have to go way, way into the forest. And uh, let's see if we can meet up there. Just very quick here before we left, a lot of you helped us out on the super thanks feature. A little donation for us to get some gasoline into the fuel tank. And I have to say, thank you each and every one of you for your very, very kind support. And I promised I make this list. So on the last documents tour that we are on now, you are gonna be historical because right there, that's where the Hans Direction Finder was. And you guys helped us out to go out and find and share these incredible stories. So now you are historical because you are here with us. Thank you so much everyone for helping us. Absolutely. Now we're going to continue and see if we can find the Heinrich Foundation. So the Heinrich Foundation is now our second target. Oh my goodness. This is insane. It is such a demanding thing to walk through. So much, you know, it's flooded and everywhere. But we are determined. We are going to find the position where the Heinrich Tower was. And these are so exciting because these were kept in secrecy in the forest areas just to keep them out of reach of the allies and the locals couldn't come for like hundreds of meters even close and there were minefields around i'm going to show you that later but wow eagle eyes we have really got something to look for here but i guess these would be much larger but you can see this huge feet that was on the tower Oh, where do we start? We are very close, but I'm not sure exactly how close we are. Oh my goodness, really tiring. This is such a muddy, crappy place to, to be at. And, huh? You found something? Yeah, I'm gonna come. All right, let's do this. Oh, I cannot believe my eyes. Right in front of us, Eagle Eye spotted now the exact position of one of the Heinrich Towers. Let us prove that to you right here. And let me tell you how difficult it is to find this. If it hadn't been for this forest being cut up like this, I guess we would never, never have found this. Oh my goodness, they are huge. Eagle eyes? What is that? That's like two meters that way, two meters that way, three, four square meters. That's one, two, three, four. and four. And there's actually something in the middle there. You see that? Yeah. What is that? Does that show on the image? No, it doesn't because these were kept in secrecy. So there's not that many pictures of them either. So, wow. And that's because they needed more range, so they put them higher up. But right now, this is amazing. We are actually touching history right here. And a very special history about the Heinrich direction finder systems. And look here, there's a pedestal and there seems to be like a little element of something laying here. Eagle eyes, holy pancake, come and look here. Look at the size of, of this. That's called cable. That's called cable. Wow. What is that cable for? Is it, wait a minute, is that electronics or if it's, is it for hoisting? I think that's actually one of the electronic cables that they used to operate it. Maybe they needed generators to supply power to them. Oh, wow. I know guys. These are just some pedestals. Look at that steel thing there. They're just metal pedestals, but you know, I think thanks to the logging here, we can actually show you this. And it's unbelievable to see that there are actually pieces of cable in the ground. So once upon a time, the signals went through these cables and the crew, we're up there in the tower, manning the Heinrich direction finder. And boy, oh boy, that is spectacular. Wow. See how twisted they are? 
Maybe they blasted it to make it come off the pedestal. Wow. You want to touch history, Egalize? Do, do, do. Can you see if I can drag? No, you will never be able to touch that. Yeah. But this reminds me of the radar facility we found, you know, with all the radar cables we found. Oh, okay. Yeah. And some of you are the lucky future keepers of these pieces of radar because, you know, we do this. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas in this place, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Yeah, we passed them on to our great supporter. Supporters out there. And if you want to have a part of that, check out the link in the video description for our Patreon team members uh, link. There's the fourth one. Wow. I really, oh look here you guys, there's another sort of pedestal next to the tree here. Okay, let's see what this is. Come and help me you guys, we'll see if we can turn this thing around. You guys, it's getting so strong, see that? That's some kind of huge, watch it, it will roll onto your feet. That's heavy, oh, <laughs> almost got you. No. They're coming back for revenge, <laughs> getting your toes. Uh. Wow. So we have several of the smaller ones. Pedestal there, pedestal there. Absolutely, guys. This is 100% for sure a place where the Germans hid away the Heinrich direction finders. Wow, we just pulled that cable and look what came up. It's like a socket and yes, there are cables in here and there's a kind of like a bacalite, bacalite lid there. You can see that? Wow! That was once upon a time a part of this system. And who knows what more of that? There's not, there could be a power supply, definitely. I don't think it's a signal cable, could it be? These are heavy duty strands. Wow! This one is fully buried, but there are probably kilometers of cables down to the ground still here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was once upon a time connected to the Heinrich turret. Again, what a beauty to find. What did you find, Igelois? I found a metal piece. It's a huge sort of like a rod. But are you happy you found it? Yeah. Did you learn something? Yes, I learned a lot. Yeah, we did, because we never ever been at a Heinrich or a Hans direction finder unit like this and who would have guessed that it's right smack here in the forest. Yes boy oh boy we did learn a lot and we hope you did as well. If you want to help us out to go out and reach more locations you know we have this little super thanks feature here. Basically your way to help us out to maybe get some fuel into the tank of the camper van and then go out and find even more interesting locations. There's going to be a part two where we're actually going to show you the camp area. We're going to show you what the Germans installed around the camp area to protect it with machine gun positions and all that and there uh, could be some surprises coming up there. This adventure or explore just started with a couple of images that my son found and he's so curious and that's what this is all about. We do the research, we do the travels, we go out and we find and share these incredible locations with all of you and with your absolutely so kind support we are able to go out and share this with you. So we appreciate each and every one of you for um, watching, subscribing, commenting. If you give us a thumbs up or heart or you hit that little notification bell and uh, let the notification come true, you will be notified every time we release a new video. I will put a link to video part two here where it says more. You click there 
and then you will find that when it's been released. And part two, it's pretty interesting and it's cool to see where the crews actually stayed and how they set themselves up to protect this area because it was very vital, it was very secret and it was very important for Germans to be able to locate the uh, Allied threats coming in from either sea or air. Um, I'm going to work on a little project here now, so that's going to be a part also from the Lost Documents tour. In the meantime, just want to say a massive thank you to all of you out there, your Patreon team members, your watcher subscribers, and if you did a donation on our PayPal thing, thank you, thank you so very much for that. There are links in the video description also for becoming a Patreon team member, or if you want to donate something on the PayPal thing that we have there. All right. Everybody, please stay safe, keep smiling, and before you know it, we will be out there finding and sharing even more history. <laughs>